How are your trades today? Are they going according to plan? I would like us to look into how Mark Minervini picks stocks to trade. Minervini provided a tool called Trend Template in Chapter 5 of his book Trade Like a Stock Market Wizard. However, I will be sharing my interpretation and would appreciate your feedback about it. This is a typical price chart. Let us partition it with what I call a sentiment curve. Minervini mentions of a 50-day moving average, 150-day moving average, and 200-day moving average. For me, those are sentiment curves. Here, I just chose one. When prices are below the S-curve, we perceive that market has a bearish sentiment. When prices are above the S-curve, market is bullish. To visually help me identify the market sentiment, a dark color paint means bearish market sentiment. Bullish market sentiment uses lighter color. Minervini talked about 52-week high and 52-week low and uses these values to define stock picking conditions. My interpretation on that is any 52-period high and 52-period low. Meaning, given any time frame, weekly, daily, 1 hour, 15 minutes, etc. I will just take note of the 52-period high and 52-period low. Minervini talked about price must be above 30% of the 52-week low and price within 25% of 52-week high. My interpretation on that is to know first the range, 52-period high minus 52-period low. Then find those percentage levels. Now, here comes a variation to Minervini's idea. I applied Fibonacci retracement to the lower half of the range. Marked 50% level and called it trigger low and marked 127.2% level and called it trigger high. From here we can partition the price into four cases. Case 1, those prices below trigger low. Case 2, those prices above trigger low but below the sentiment curve. Case 3, those prices above the sentiment curve but below trigger high. And case 4, those prices above the trigger high. I am treating these cases as possible entry or buy regions. However, there are associated risks on each cases. Very high risk at case 1. High risk for case 2. Medium risk at case 3. And low risk at case 4. Mind the levels. Plan your trades. Manage the risks. Good luck out there.